Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com In this video I'm going to show you how you can create your custom environments for Windows Mixed Reality You can see there I've got a sports stadium, I've got a movie room, I've got a river cottage and I've got a garden And I'm going to show you how you can make these really easily just using Paint 3D So here we have one example um, My building is like a river cottage You can see the river outside and this is a fairly basic one uh, with a small file size. You, you, as you've seen, someone like my garden um, model is much larger and much more complex. This is a nice simple one. So some things are in here, like these plants, these pictures, are actually from added afterwards in Windows Mixed Reality. So I've added these are actually just pictures. You can see I've added uh, the plants I've added later. But the building itself was built using Paint 3D. And actually, can I, can, I can go outside here, and you can see this is the outside environment. This is the natural environment that you get with uh, Windows Mixed Reality. So that's your outside. And I've put a figure in there, to see, as you can see. So I can that's, I can go back inside, and uh, this was all created in Paint 3D. In fact, this was a model I imported, actually, which I'll show you how to do. So let's quit Mixed Reality, and I'll show you how to do it in Paint. So the folder that you're going to be working with is this one here, this app, your username app data local package environment uh, app at local state. You can do percent uh, local app data percent and that will open this local package and then you can local folder and then you can go to packages environmental apps. I found the best way to do is make sure Mixed Reality is closed when you're doing the editing and then reload it when you're done. So for example this building one, I can open this now in Paint 3D and I can show you how I made it. Now open this now and straight I can see the scaling is going to be an issue opening this file and by scaling what I mean is the size of the model when you uh, view it when you're actually in the room. So if I show the canvas this is some there isn't a lot of clues with paint but the size of that canvas I've just added then is the size of a sofa. Okay, so you can see that this has now gone tiny, so I'm gonna to have to rescale this. So the best way I found to do that is you go into 3D view, you can go to select, and then actually do uh, select all, like that. And then the way I found that, that, that to get the scaling right is if you go down to zero zoom, or the minimum, which is 10%, that should completely fill the camera. Okay, so that's more like the right size now. I still should go, that's still too small that. If I put the canvas on and show you, you can see the size of that canvas there is the size of, let's say, so for, actually we're not too far out, I would guess, on that one now. So that's probably about the, the size you need to be able to walk around this room. With Paint 3D, you can right click on an object and use the mouse to rotate around. So there we can see. Let's move that up there. Okay, so there you can see that room that I was looking at before with the figure. That's probably about the right scaling. You can open other tools afterwards and edit this GLB file and do the scaling. But I've got kind of got used to it. I've got used to it with this canvas. There's the canvas. So that's like I said, it's kind of like the size of a sofa. So that's probably about the right size. So let me start from scratch though and show you how we create a brand new model. And just a warning on these as well, um, You, these models get too big, they really slow down Windows Mixed Reality. If you get them over 256 meg, they're, they're unworkable. So my garden is just about on the limit, and uh, even with the recording software working, it's a bit too much. Okay, so I've got a nice 3D view, or I've got a nice view there. There's that canvas, which is probably about the right size. So I'm going to have a 3D view. Uh, let's bring that right down. Okay, and um, let's just add an image. Now, the great thing about this is you can get all these pre-made images from Remix 3D that you really can do a lot of stuff with. So you can have gardens and islands and all this kind of thing, cities. Sometimes you may want the, sort of the simplest objects to get started with, but I can bring something in. These are all a bit complex. So there's a stadium. Let's grab that. I've used this before. So I'm going to grab that, bring that in, and you can see it's tiny, so that would be the size of a like a coffee table, an item on a coffee table. No good, that. So we need to make it a lot bigger. Here, you can see what I'm doing now. So see, now 
it's still too small that let's make that much bigger it's still too small now we're talking this is a sort of a small stadium size now we're talking a big stadium okay so we've got our stadium on there you can use the paint 3d tools to bring things in you can see the size of the sofa it's still probably a bit small this actually so i'm just gonna stretch that out a little bit probably okay we'll, we'll go with that for now um so i could add more objects in this i can bring in i can add a standard object i can add custom objects on there let me just bring something in um I'm going to bring a car in. Why not? So that's going to be down there in the stadium bowl. In fact, well, let's leave. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Probably about there. Okay, let's just leave that as an example. Okay, so we've got this project now. We, you can save it, but what to get it into mixed reality, you save as a 3D model. So I'm going to call this uh, test as a GLB file. If you haven't got the option to save as a GLB file, you need a newer version of Paint 3D. I think if you've got the Fall Creators, uh, sorry, the April up 2018 update, you should have that. Okay, so let's um, bring that model into, there it is. So let's copy that. I'm going to paste it into this one here. So I'm not working on this one. This is just like a copy of it. That's, so now I'm going to head back to Mixed Reality and we'll see if we can view it. I'm going to um, save this as well as the Paint 3D project as test. I mean, there's nothing, if you've got the resources, you can leave this paint open and flick to Mixed Reality mixed reality and work on it uh, but after I've got this recording software running and everything else I think that's probably pushing it a bit too far so I'm going to close this so now you want to test so now you want to test your environment hit the windows key go to places and you'll find test in there somewhere there we go let click on that it brings up the little launch app like this and that's where you can then click that to load it up. Okay, so here we are. Now I've got the scaling as you can see. We started up here. There's that car. Um, see, I've got the scaling, I would say, pretty much right. If I, I can... Uh, teleport down here and you can see I'm in the stadium so I think I got okay on the scaling slight position wrong with the car and believe it or not I can get in the car but you can see what I've done there so I've started that I can go down here now and I can pin some apps on here so I could pin uh, Cortana or the holograms app and you know, I can stick that over there and resize it if I want to. And over here, I can pin Microsoft Edge and so on. So now I can start to customize that environment. And the great thing about the Holograms app is you can pick these apps on there. Uh, sorry, pick these objects from here and start customizing it. The other thing you can do as well... If you go to all apps list and look for Mixed Reality Viewer, you can actually pick objects that, you know, those the objects that we saw in Paint, you can actually bring some of those in here using this app as well. So you can customize it now. You can add trees or sofas or whatever you want. And you can pick all these apps and add them to your world. And oh, so pick all these models and add them to your world. You can add them from here, and of course you can just build them in when you do the design. But you can add, you know, Netflix in here. You can make your movie room or whatever you want. So that's really how simple it is. It's just a question of getting used to Paint 3D, playing around, get the scaling right, 
and then you know you you're it's up to you what you do there is a, an issue with the sizes and i have got a detailed blog post with how to do this on the digitallife.com with a little tool that microsoft provide to help out with that you can open these glb files with other programs not just paint another one a good example of one is the 3d builder app with 3d builder app you do get an answer uh, size uh, the option to set the scale the only problem i found with the 3d builder app is it does seem to remove some of the quality although that does make it smaller the file but it looked a bit sort of uh, a bit odd after i finished but there you go you see you can open it in there you can click on the object and you can actually see the scale of it so you can see the size of it there so it gives you that fine adjustments i just found that it reduced some of the quality of the seating and things when i tried it with this model but you you can play with that and have you go yourself main thing is just fire up paint 3d put them in this folder and away you go so have fun playing it you can have a garden you can have your own movie studio you, you can create your home theater do whatever you want i've created all sorts of things you can see here playing around microsoft include one called fantasy island which you can edit yourself and have a look at it have fun with it and let me know how you get on so you can find more on the digitallives.com at isdix on twitter and please subscribe to our youtube channel